I want the girl to be adequately into it. Yes. I want her to be, so if, if she has to be persuaded to do it, by the time, she, at least she's put up a no and she wasn't into it, so I trust her judgment. Yeah. And then when she is into it, I'm like, oh, she's real horned up. Like, sure. she wants it. So I yeah. trust that she's now turned on during it as opposed to just going through the motions. Yes. Or, like, I I hate it when, like, if anybody looks very uncomfortable with it, I hate that. Oh, yeah. It's just, like, if somebody's gagging or whatever, or, like, somebody's, like, forcing anal or something, I hate that shit. Yeah, that's, like, Don't come over to me. our house, yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean Tuesdays? <laughs> Take your shoes wow. off uh, before you walk in. I hate to break it to you, but that's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> It's you up with Nikki Glazer. We're back. Uh, Tom Takar is here. Bonnie McFarlane is here. Hello. And now Des Bishop. Comedian yeah. Des Bishop is back with us. Comedian, make sure that's clear. Comedian yes. Des Bishop. Well, when it, when it, I uh, didn't get that. Yes, you did. When... I just uh, <laughs> Crack ho, Bonnie McFarlane. What a de- Des Humorist, host? Bonnie McFarlane. That happened Podcast to me. Podcast host, dancer. No, no, comedian is fine. Yes. But recently I did a show in West Hampton uh, over the summer, and I always spend my summers there, so I was very excited to get my name up on the marquee. Yeah. And finally, the day before the show, they put up Des Bishop tomorrow night. And then the next day when I went there, they had changed it to comedian Des Bishop. Probably because <laughs> loads of people were going, who the hell is Des, Des Bishop? Bishop? Oh, that's interesting. Is that yeah. the, the violinist Des Bishop? Is that the guy that helped stop apartheid? <laughs> is he doing a TED talk? Um, no, it's it probably was to sell people love comedians. They and yeah, they no, didn't it, know who it, you it's were. absolutely fine. Yeah. I, I sold. Sounds like you had some soft I, ticket sales. I, I had a, no, I had a lot of uh, personal like like hand to hand ticket sales because I know so many people out there. Yes. But I guess you they were, were thinking outside. door to door to sell those last few <laughs> tickets. Uh, they they felt that that was a better yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. But I don't Vanessa mind Williams it. was on the night before, and she ate it, and I actually Vanessa pretty much Williams? sold it out. So they were like, "We lost our shirt on Vanessa Williams. You saved us." Wow, that's nice. Yeah, so that was it, nice. what was it? It was a hometown show, like a lot of sort people of. from high school. A lot of and Jews stuff? from my golf club, and a lot of people from the beach. Okay. Do you get? Uh, how do you feel about performing for people you know? Do you love it? Well, uh, I don't love it. That one was a little OTT. I'd say 35% of the audience were people that I directly knew. OTT. Yeah. Over the top. Yeah. Oh, Got it. Okay. Okay. You know, I, had to, I had to really break that yeah. down. I That's didn't know. That's not a normal. I was like, standing no. room only. No. OTT. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, sorry. A very common expression in Ireland. I've been in ca- I've Oh, been, in Ireland. I've been okay. encountering these more and more where I say things thinking they're That's totally normal. OTT. Then Americans are like, what? Yeah. Yeah, OTT uh, is one of those. You yeah, got that's another amazing. One? Over the top. No, I, I don't know them. I right. they, It's only when people react to what I say. I love like acronyms. That's an acronym, right? Yeah. Or is the acronym the one it no, spells wait. out something? That's an acronym. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, I think it spells out something. Initialism right? is, I think, yeah. what an OTT would be. But um, I what, OTT is not an acronym? It is I, an acronym. It is an acronym. I don't know. Guys, go- I'm really sorry I even Google brought it up. Google it. Yeah, it is. But there's one that if it spells something, like if it's spelled, if we called it scuba. Scuba. That's different than that. One's an acronym and one's like initialism. Initial. Uh, oh, so it becomes so a word. I think abbreviation. It becomes a word like acronym. NASA? So acronym is an yeah. abbreviation formed from the initial letters of the other words and pronounced as a word. Yes. Uh, so it's got to be pronounced uh, as a word. So, so OTT, OTT, OTT is, is not an acronym. Boom! I was right. Ot would be. Ot. Yes, ot right. is. If it's a little ot. I always say ot. So anyway, I it was, was a bit right. too much, basically, is, what, is <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. But it still was fun. I will not be yes. wrong. <laughs> I always do um, yeah, charity shows right. when I go. It is? Yeah. Wow, I'm so smart. Um, I always do like charity shows when I go back home so that if I if it stinks, I don't feel bad making my friends and family pay because it's going to a good cause. And if I stink, it's like, it's for the dogs. Yeah, the charity is the Nikki Glaser Foundation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but also Nikki you have these Glazer. weird moments where like somebody you know heckles you, so you sort of, you rip on them, and 30% of the audience think it's the funniest thing ever, and everybody else is like, what? What, yeah, yeah. like I don't get, yeah. Oh, Bob. My God. oh that was Bob? <laughs> when yeah. I was in Edmonton, this woman was like, uh, I started talking to her. She kept her table kept talking, kept shouting, you know, whatever. Not really heckling, but you know, when they like add something. Sure. Yes. And then I started talking to them, and she goes, "I know you. I know you from childhood." And oh. I was like, uh, "You know, it's hard to see when you're on stage." She said her name. I didn't recognize it. You're not memorable. And 
it was like you know. Plus, you're trying to keep things lively for the audience. Sure. You don't want to get deep into no, it. No, it's a real uh, buzzkill. And then, uh, so then I, you know, sort of started making fun of her, but she was uh, offended. But she uh, she came up to me after the show and she was like, she was like, I guess you don't remember me. And I was like, uh, a lot that going means it's all on. about. I don't know her. if that's the right time to really no, she, like get you. it. She yeah. sent a yeah. picture of her and I to the club when we were like, you know. <laughs> Six and seven years old for some kind of like VIP treatment. I don't know, like to to prove. Could you let Bonnie see this? Ugh. That's insane. I did a gig in Long that. Island. We uh, did know each other. <laughs> just, like, see, oh, you, just in okay. case I'm you said sorry. you'd recognize me forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did a gig in. I did a, I did a gig in the, one of those governors clubs. Yeah. And a bunch of girls that I was in primary school, grammar school with. Uh, one of them held up a picture of me from second grade on a stick oh, when yeah. I walked oh, on stage. That's so weird. It was fun, and then you're like, No, it was kind of fun. It was right yeah. at the beginning, then they piped down. Okay, that's good. If they, It was kind of funny. Like, I don't know. I Ugh. I will. T I think I mentioned this last week even, but I was heckled recently by a guy who like had a funny heckle, and I was like attracted to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was attracted oh, no, to my heckler. Oh, no, don't start this trend. I swear to God, do <laughs> no. not do this, you guys. Ooh, a rom -com. I know exactly, because it's so rare it's that you're so like- It's so confident. I was yes. just like, who the fuck do you think you are, <laughs> okay? Like, yeah. it was- to, to, and Somebody's like, got a big cock. I want to, yeah, exactly. I'm like, I want to be like disrespect. Like, it's a little disrespectful. Oh, I'm, like, you should into. make that porn. <laughs> what was the heckle? Can you remember? So he, you know what? It was funny. He, what he, I think, um, I think. I think I was talking about this. I'm doing this new bit about like don't let guys come unless they like does really earn it. And and then he just goes, oh god, come on, come. like he was doing. He was on a date and he was like. I, this is a date I'm on. Like he yeah. was doing, yeah. but it wasn't over the top. Don't fill like, her head with this <laughs> shit. He was playing a character. It was a funny, over the top like response right, to it. And right. then I kind of talked to him, and he had some good lines that I was like, "Can I use that?" Like it was good, uh -huh. and I was impressed. You guys and, workshopped a bit live on stage. Yeah, I've I've got I've taken a couple. My closing joke is something that a dude in the front row gave me. Is it Uber? In, the Uber oh, afterwards thing? or during yeah. the show? No, during, during the show. The show. Chlamydia. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he gave me he just like under his breath like he, the whole show he was quiet and then i did this joke about um uh getting fingered in an uber and i call it uber finger and the joke itself was already worked out it had a good closing line and then he just goes uber eats and i was like uh -huh. oh, oh shit there's something there and i yeah. was like can i have that and he goes I don't like. What's well, he I don't gonna know do with it? Means. He's like, I'm gonna go to an open <laughs> mic and just say Uber Eats. Yeah. I don't think you have to exactly. discuss it with him. Yeah. I don't, yeah. So I go, I want to give you something. I feel weird taking that line, so I just reached in my pocket and whatever I had in there, I gave him three dollars. That's what I me? had. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I just, I bought that joke from you, so you can't ever come back and get it. I think but, in that scenario, a hand job would have been a more. Yeah, that's a good point. Apt payment. Oh God, no, thank you, no, thank you. I don't hand jobs. You don't like hand jobs. I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Poor woman. Been, it's much more about the getting than the getting. <laughs> I've been talking about this on stage. Like, what are your thoughts that. about hand jobs? I think that. Okay. Oh, they get you out of a lot of jams when you're like 17, 18 years old. I'm sure, but as a woman giving them, like, unless you think you're good at them, which is my whole thing, like, women only like to do things they think they're good at. I don't, I definitely know I'm not good at hand jobs, but also, I'm, I'm, it, let's say I have the same skill, skill set. Level like I'm, I'm as equally good at blowjobs as hand jobs, right? Yeah. And I only want to do something I'm kind of good at. I would rather give a blowjob because I don't have to like look at you while I'm doing this thing that I'm not that confident about. It is a about. little. It's a, my own little like, project as opposed to like a group project. Right. Yeah. Where I'm not that confident. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a hand job sort of feels like. Uh, you're next. If you're giving a hand job, you're like next to the person. Like okay. I know, but it's also like you're doing well, you like just... some medical procedure. Yeah. You know, where you're yes. like. Okay, but there. you can be like making good? out right, though and stuff go. though. Oh yeah, you're making out. I forgot yeah. about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, you, that's, yeah, that's you don't have to sit there. Oh, but just for the know. record, in the context, I in a movie theater, you're gonna make out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta okay. focus on the popcorn yeah, thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't really need to give a hand job after you're 20 years old, but. In the context of paying a stranger for a joke, I don't know, no, man. I think a blowjob is a bit much. I, I like a hand job's cheating. I prefer Des, a hand. Uh, to let me a give you. Beach. Let me give you a scenario, and you tell me what options I have as a woman. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, hooking up. Uh, I don't want to have sex yet because that's it's sex, right? Mm -hmm. That's like there's a lot mm -hmm. at play there. That makes sense. I'm not ready to have sex yet. Um, 
and I don't want to blow you because that's a your penis in my mouth. That is like a very intimate thing. So for for just that to be the the go to thing, yeah. it's crazy. But well, what's to me. the scenario? Yeah, the you've scenario. already started answering the question. Okay, so first time hookup, first time hookup with a guy where you're like, we're gonna get into this. Clothes are coming off. You don't want to have sex with them, but you're you're not sure that you're ready to suck his penis mm-hmm. because like. I don't know. That's yeah, a just, very, you just get I've, past that moment now. I've never been able now, to stop. Now what do you do? Jerk, jerk him off. If sorry, uh, if you're concerned, jerk, I don't want if to. you're concerned. Oh, sorry. Let me. Hey, excuse hey, hey, me. I, I gotta ask the question. I, I gotta, tell you what you do. You say. I'll do you have a penis? You do your job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you ask. No. I, I gotta no, answer the question. I'm getting shamed about answering the question. Sorry. Under the assumption that you are you are you concerned that you'd be leaving the guy hanging if you don't do something? Is that your concern? But you want him yeah. to do something to you, though. Yeah. See, yeah do you I want him that, to go yeah. down? No, um, sh- yeah, sure. If he that'd goes be great. down, I think. Yeah, if he then, goes then down, you then go you've down. jammed yeah. yourself yeah. up, even, you know? Even, even exchange. Yeah. But, uh, but also, sometimes a guy goes down, and I'm like, no, I don't know that I want to put your I've penis in my before. mouth. I've done that before. I've gone like, down on somebody I'm, and I'm they so don't undecided. Re- well, well That's can fine. I ask the simpler question? I just don't want to do, yeah. Should a woman feel obligated? That's my, that's my question, is that... There is a sense of obligation. Like what? So Obligated many women, after. including myself, have gotten guys off when you didn't really want to. Your heart wasn't in it. And in fact, men can have sex with us when we don't really even want it. Because not like unconsenting, but when our uh, our bodies, if we're not wet, you can just spit on us and make us wet. Right? Mm. Mm. And then you're having sex and your body isn't ready for Like, it doesn't really want it, but it's like, you know, you're hooking up with a guy and he sp- spits in his hand, makes you wet. Then you're wet? And it's like, well, actually, I'm not. Are you, you can't just But, but just because you're wet doesn't mean you have to have sex. It's not like, oh, it's wet life. now. I guess it has to be filled. No, but, like, you know you know what I'm talking about. When a situation is amping up and the guy thinks the girl's turned on enough and then she's not, but she's kind of asking for it, but not, like, and then you can just make yourself wet by someone else's saliva, which yes. you can't you can't make a guy hard by just doing like spitting on, I mean, well, depends on the guy. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. I um, I beg to differ. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, though? I don't know. Any- I've never been able to stop making out. Like once I've started making out with someone, I'm probably gonna have sex That's with them. My I can't point. stop it. It's like once it's happening. I liked saying no a hundred times. And then having sex, like yes, I know that. I mean, these are all really interesting conversations not, to have. This is not, you know, a good wait for now. You're saying I'm glad I'm married. <laughs> <That's a, laughs> wait, no, because like sometimes we no. Like telling I'm a guy no, no until because it happens. I'm like, no means no, Bonnie. You know, you're like, oh my my my. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. Think I it's like be the baby. It's cold and outside. It's like thing. it's yeah. just hot. It's just yeah. like oh yeah. And you think? Let me just say, I. I can always be convinced. Like if a guy, if I'm making out with a guy, I like you enough that I could probably be convinced to fuck you. Yes. Yeah, right. but that's the problem. Is like you want to be convinced, but that's where the confusion happens because then yes. sometimes yeah. you get in a situation like a fellow comedian of ours yeah. right, where he has right. not quote unquote read that situation correctly. Then he's yes. the bad guy. So it's right. very nowadays. Right. I don't think it's you can't. Right. You have it's, to be very clear crazy. nowadays. Like, yeah, you do you don't. want it or do you not want it? Or if you're saying right. no right now, you're saying right now I'm not sure, but let's revisit this yeah, in 15 yeah. minutes. That's yeah. what it, that's when it is complicated for sure. I guess I just want uh, sometimes I I just don't want to have an intimate moment with someone if I think they're going to disrespect me after it. And sometimes I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. And I would hate I don't want to be dealing with a guy not calling me who I've given a blowjob to. And I'm like, how dare I? It, it just feels shitty. Yeah. Yes, to do that, that to, be... get, to blow someone and then have them blow you off. Like, it, it's just like, Whoa. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. And that's always my kind of um, initial anxiety about blowing someone is like, this could go. Would you feel like that if they went down on you first? Um, like If, if they went you... down on me first, I'd just leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you. High five. There's the thank bathroom. You. Look after <laughs> yourself. I think we're done here. <laughs> If they made me come, then I, I, I no, actually, You'd probably yeah, get I, I into would still it. feel, I would still feel rejected. Uh-huh. It's still, that's the problem. If like, if you hook up with a guy and he doesn't want to continue hooking up with you, even if you don't want to continue hooking up with him, sure. You, it, let's say you don't want to, but then he doesn't either. You feel rejected and you go, oh, I want to now because he's rejecting me. Yeah, I mean, that goes both fu- ways. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Self worth tied up to you know rejection or not? That's a, that's a deeper issue, you know. Yes, yes. Mm. It's, I mean, it, and but don't aren't don't we all suffer that in I some mean, way? I mean, I'm totally kidding. I mean, I I think I I think the more important thing is that 
uh, a lot of uh, men think that like it has to happen for them, and a lot of women think they have to make it happen sure. for a guy. Otherwise, he's going to go crazy, which I can understand because physically you literally want to go crazy if you yes. think it's going to happen and it doesn't. Yes. But I do think the real conversation needs to be, what does a guy do in a situation where she doesn't want to? And he thinks she's pushed him too far. I think the guy has to excuse himself and jerk off. That's I the person agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's why yeah. I said this whole Louis thing was a bummer to me because I used to like like when guys would just jerk off because sometimes I want you to come but I don't want to touch you and I'm not ready to like facilitate it. But like I don't want you to be in you a weird do it in mood. The I, I want to keep hanging out with you. Yeah, but after the difference this. is that. It's after you guys have been making out. Right. It's not a right, direct right. comparison to the situation, no, the no. example that you gave. No, no. What I'm saying, but the difference people... between. I'm sorry. Let me. Um, say that I meant by the Louis thing it's like guys are now like oh if I jerk off in front of a girl it's a weird sex Louis thing and it's like no it's like sometimes we like that yeah right That's but I what think I'm also saying. it's good to acknowledge that physically it's a little bit different for a guy than a woman I'm assuming in that there is a certain energy that can be hard to oh, shut yeah. off for a guy oh no it sucks Aww, I when a guy I'm, no, I, I, I'm not <laughs> complaining yeah. I, this is a problem if I shamed you guys for your fucking driver I'm not saying anything but, I'm not saying anything <laughs> The, uh, the point, I, I, this is why you can't have a conversation. My ball hurts. That, no, but it's blue balls. It's bullshit. I'm not talking about blue balls. What? Just your about, ego? No. My yeah. ego is huge this right is now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck, this is Bonnie who says no, no, no. She means yes, which is the antithesis of how you yes, teach people. No. Listen, I honestly think, like, if it... If I was in a situation where I was saying no for real, I would hope the person would know that. But I'm in situations where that's the dance, you know, that's yeah. the right, fun of it, right. you know, where I we think, both yeah, know. But the, it's I, I agree. I believe in the dance, it but is not everyone's clear on what the yeah, dance not is. Not everyone I agree. Knows I agree. It. And I, my experiences are not the same as everyone else's. So sure. That's me. That's my thing. Yeah. I, um,. Yeah. The lack of clarity is a problem in our current uh, discourse. Sure. It's um, amazing to me that more men, I think, that I've started seeing like where more men are that confused about it. You know yes. what I mean? And maybe, I don't know, maybe it's like. Why would you be confused? I mean, like, it's really confusing. As a guy? Yeah, it's totally confusing. No, now. I agree. I, I think, but it's like, I don't know, when you're in that moment. Like, I probably wouldn't really start heavily making out with someone unless I already knew yeah. yes. that I was yes. going to have sex with them. So when you, you know? go, I'm not sleeping with you, and you before you go yes, up to their apartment, right, right. that's all the dance. Yeah, and it's yeah like this not everybody has that, though. Like, some people will make out with people that they don't want to fuck. Right, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah. not, you, listen, I'm not every woman. No, and I really mean yeah. I'm not going to fuck you when I say that, but then when we go up to your I, I, I want to give guys hope in saying that if a girl is making out with you and like has had sex before and is yeah. like free with her butt she could always be convinced if you show her a good time like yeah not for sure. not, she but not always, always yeah. let me just say not always but like you c yeah. I can be convinced when I've thought no mm -hmm. like I'm not going to if I will get to a point where I will consent to it and be like I, oh I didn't see this coming but right. he got right. me there yeah. Yeah. but then I, there. now I have another thing where I'm like I would feel a little weird, like maybe did I like in retrospect after right. I'd be like, did I like make that like yeah. make like someone pushy? do something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's why that's... now I have a form I have everybody sign, and that's, that's what good. you signed when you came in, Des. So okay. I really it's my so... consent form. <laughs> <you doing> <laughs> I hope it I was, was just for hand jobs. Now. Hand jobs is all I have for a guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's complicated. It's and very complicated. It's. Uh, but I got some sexts the other day. Um, I talked about it on the radio on Thursday. Did I talk about it on Thursday? Yeah. That I got sex on the way here? Did I talk about it on air or just off air? I don't even remember. Damn, I, I really keep You got things. sexed? I got sexts. sexts on the way to work. Um, it was awesome. Early. I was I was having like a bad like feel Morning. like day where you're just like, I don't feel great about myself. Uh -huh. And then uh, someone uh, from my past watched Ooh. me on bumping mics and was like, you're so fucking hot on this thing, I'm jerking off. And I was just like, whoa, I was on the <laughs> one train just like, what is happening? And it was awesome. And I just want to like give a shout out to that guy for like <laughs> making my self esteem boost like so much in a moment when I need. I literally wrote to him, I needed this. <laughs> Thank you. And he's like, Good, it's fucking true. And I was like, Thank you. I'm coming. <laughs> it's great. It was in the morning, and I was like, There was it was it was great. So I um I, thank you for that. Yeah, check out bumping mics and jerk off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. While you watch and it. then, God, I don't even know if I want to say this. Got a dick pic later. One of my first same from the guy? same guy. Yeah, same guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. I got a dick pic. I've gotten one before, but it wasn't full like exposed. Do you like them? I liked it because it's just like, oh my god! Like I wasn't like, yeah. But it's a dick you'd already seen. 
Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's but it was from a good. different angle. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a weird dick pic. I yeah. don't know why. Yeah. I've never just, sent one. I yeah, feel I'm like nobody actually wants it. Some people it. ask for them, but I'm not into them. Yeah, I like them. I like them. I mean, I, they're fun. You're just like, oh my god. You're one of two people who I've ever heard say they like them. Yeah, ever. I do. You know, they just proposed a bill for uh, making it illegal illegal to send unsolicited dick pics. Oh, really? My husband's gonna get arrested. <laughs> yeah, literally on Friday. He but the, 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 the problem the, the problem has been that people have been airdropping dick pics to people in their proximity. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's a oh my god! Oh that is my so god! Yeah, it's like modern day flashing. Oh it's like it's like how people flash oh now. Oh my god! Yeah. No, that's a nightmare. That's so oh scary. I can't believe that hasn't airdrop. happened. I don't want that at all. Oh Shout out god. to Donovan Richards, the politician who proposed the bill. And the guy staring at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is that from the from the anecdotes that were. In in the article, most times you look up, you can't tell who it right, is. Right, right. Oh. oh. Yeah. Unless it's like the only black guy on the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Who said this? I was telling who a, sent me this? I was telling a friend of mine, and she was like, "What would you? What would be funny to send back?" And I was like, "You should have like a like a like a pic of a dick ready, and then send right, it back. Right, like a bigger oh, yeah. dick, yeah, like, yeah. like wink and be like, yeah. that's mine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh God, that's so gross. Have you ever seen dick on a dick on the train? No, 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 I've, I've, uh, well, like in the any, wild. Any one time a guy a was masturbating outside my roommate's window. That was like kind of Yeah, that's scary. gross. Come on my window. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on <to laughs> inside. I'm gonna open it. <laughs>